This is a yin yoga class with props for a deep back stretch. For this yin yoga routine, you'll need one or two yoga blocks and a bolster. Since this is yin yoga, we'll be holding each pose today for three to four minutes each, and this will help you to get a nice deep back stretch, releasing any tension or pain from your back and your spine. If by the end of this yin yoga class you have enjoyed it, please leave this video a thumbs up that will help other people to find the class too. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so we can continue to practice yin yoga together. Hi everyone, we're going to start this deep back stretch with caterpillar pose and we're going to use the bolster for this one and maybe a block or two. So to start you can just sit on the mat with your legs out long in front of you. Make sure that your pelvis is rotating forward and then place your bolster on your legs. Now you can take your time getting into this pose but eventually we're just going to fold over the bolster allowing the hands to crawl along the bolster or they can rest on the mat. And then if you're feeling as though you want a little bit more support in this pose, you can take a block or two and then rest your forehead onto your block. And you can come into an appropriate depth here. You don't have to go too far into the pose. Just enough so you can feel that nice stretching sensation. Caterpillar pose will help to stretch out your spine. And you also might be feeling this within your hamstrings. And we're going to stay here today for four minutes in total. So once you have arrived to your first edge, you can bring some of your awareness to your breath. Just feel yourself breathing in, feeling your body stretching and expanding. And then feel yourself breathing out, knowing that your body is getting rid of tension, getting rid of stress. with time you might be invited to go to your next edge and if that happens you might be able to fold a little bit deeper into caterpillar pose maybe walking that block a little bit further away from you and if that doesn't happen that's okay just know that you're doing really good work here for your back for your spine We'll just resolve to be still here for the next minute, focusing entirely on your breath and all of the sensations you might be feeling.
before we release caterpillar pose, take a moment to loosen up your jaw, drop your shoulders, release any tension from your face. We'll take three more big breaths here. And now we'll slowly prepare to come out of the pose, just pushing yourself back up into a seat. You can remove your props for now. And then we'll take a minute just to rebound in however your body is called to do that. It might just be sitting in stillness on the mat. You might be craving to open up your chest so you can lean back on your hands. Or you might want to loosen up your hips and your legs by doing some windshield wipers, just having your feet out in front of you and then gently or slowly rather drop your knees from side to side. So just do whatever you're called to do here. Remembering to stay connected to your breath and your body, keeping that do door firmly closed on any thoughts that are trying to invade. Now we'll set ourselves up for our next pose, which is supported bridge pose. So we're going to use one or two yoga blocks for this pose. And we're just going to come to lie on our backs, first of all. So you can just slowly roll your spine back down. Once you're there, take a moment just to let your spine align itself against the earth. Now you can take a bend into your knees and bring your heels back close to your pelvis. When you're ready, then lift your hips up into the air and you can place one yoga block in underneath your tailbone. Of course, finding the right position for you, you can adjust until it's nice and comfortable. And you're welcome to stay here at this depth, or if you are craving a little bit more, you can go that bit deeper by placing a second yoga block in underneath. Take the first few moments of the pose to adjust and wiggle and find what's sustainable for you. We're staying here for four minutes. And once you've arrived at your appropriate edge, just try your best to be still here. This pose is a really great way to stretch out your spine. Also a nice hip opener. Now, while our props and gravity is doing most of the work here, we still want to keep a little bit of activity within the body. So you can gently press the soles of your feet into your yoga mat, really feeling that connection between your feet and the ground beneath you. You might notice a little energy exchange happening in your feet. Your body can let go of any negative or stressful energy. You can just send it into the ground. At the same time, you can also receive new energy, positive, fresh energy from the earth.
And once again, connect to your breath. Inhale to feel that gentle stretching of the spine. And exhale to feel your body letting go of tension. And we'll be here for about two and a half more minutes. So just enjoy this pose. Stay here on your yoga mat and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. Now let's take three more breaths here in supported bridge. Expanding your belly, opening up everything with each breath in. Letting something go with each breath out. You can take your time coming out of the pose, maybe just removing one block at a time. And eventually we'll find ourselves with the spine back down against the ground. Taking a moment of stillness just to let everything settle back down. Our next pose is air releasing pose and we're going to do this by having the bolster in underneath our tailbone this time. So just allowing your hips to rest down on the bolster, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And then you can bring your knees up into your chest, giving yourself a nice little hug here. Keep your feet beside each other, don't cross your ankles. And this is a really great pose for the lower back, helping to get rid of any stiffness or even any lower back pain that you might be experiencing. We're going to stay here for four minutes. If you need to adjust your bolster or make any changes to your pose, feel free to do that. And then we're finding our stillness. We're connecting to the body, connecting to the breath. Using each inhale to gently stretch all the fibers of the body and each exhale to get rid of tension. Relax your jaw. Soften your facial muscles. 
relax your shoulders and maintain a little bit of activity within your lower body as you gently squeeze your knees towards your chest. We're here for one more minute, so just checking in, making sure you're still connected to your breath and your body. The door is still firmly but kindly closing on any thoughts. Let's take three or four really deep breaths. And as you're ready, you can unfurl, coming into a brief corpse pose. You can keep the bolster here, or if you'd prefer to remove it now, that's okay. Allow your arms and legs to take up lots of space. And the body is just flat against the floor. Giving yourself a moment to rebound from the pose we've done. Feeling whatever you feel and just observing here. Now you can bring a little bit of movement back into your body and slowly come to sit back on your mat. Our next pose is supported fish pose. So once again, a really nice pose to help to open up the spine, stretch out the back. I feel like it is really the kind of pose you crave when your back feels stiff. It really helps you to get a nice back bend and open everything up again. So we have options as always. We can use one or two yoga blocks on the mat behind us. So the first one is going to come in at the back of your shoulder blades to help open up your chest. And then you might be able to bring the crown of your head onto the mat from here, 
but if that feels like it's putting too much strain on your neck, you can rest your head on a second yoga block or on a pillow or a cushion. Then for our bolster, there's an option just to bring it in underneath the knees, creating a really nice spinal curve. So we're going to stay in fish pose for three minutes. Of course, if that feels like it's becoming too intense, you can always come out of the pose earlier. And then set yourself up with your props, whatever feels most comfortable for you. You're aiming, as I mentioned, to get the crown of your head onto the mat or onto a pillow wiggle and adjust and find your appropriate edge. Arms can rest wherever they feel called to. Palms are facing up. Find your breath. And feel each inhale expanding your lungs and opening up your chest. And feel each exhale carrying tension away from your body. Checking in here, making sure your jaw is relaxed, your face is soft, shoulders are dripping over your block. And we'll take three more breaths for this pose. And there's no rush to come out of fish pose. You can do it really slowly. Elbows can come to the mat here for a little bit of support. Tuck your chin towards your chest and then slowly prop yourself back up. You can remove your yoga blocks from behind you and then roll your spine back down into corpse pose. And again, here we're just rebounding, observing, feeling all of that energy now that's traveling around your body.
now we're going to come into our final yin pose, which is a reclined twist. We're going to hold the pose for three minutes on each side, and then we're going to rest in corpse pose. So you can remove your bolster, and you might not need any props for this pose, but as always, there will be options. So you can roll yourself completely back down onto the mat. Have both of your legs long. And then you can bring the sole of your left foot up onto your right thigh. Right hand can come to hold this top knee and then stack your hips on top of each other so your left hip is somewhat over your right hip. Bringing this knee over towards the right side of the mat and then your left arm can come out to the left, keeping it perpendicular to your body. Palm is facing down and it's gently pressing into the floor. And here we want to make sure that both of your shoulders stay connected to the mat here. So find that appropriate depth that twist that allows you to feel all the sensations of the stretching without feeling any pain or discomfort and without lifting this left shoulder off the ground. To go a little bit deeper into the twist you can look over towards the left and if you need a little bit of support in the twist here, you can have your bolster or some blocks in underneath this top knee, so in underneath your left knee. I feel like a reclined twist is the ultimate pose for your back and your spine helping to gently squeeze away any tension or any pain. You're creating flexibility within your spine here. And you're also helping to massage all of your internal organs. So you're doing really good work here for your body. Try your best to stay with all of these sensations you're feeling. Keep sending your breath in to wherever it's needed the most. And then I'll let you know when it's time to unravel the twist. You can slowly start to make your way back to center. Pausing in the middle, as always, just to observe, you might notice a really big difference within the two sides of your body. So let's take it to the other side now, stretching our left leg out long, bringing the right foot onto the left thigh, left hand holds the top knee and then right arm comes out perpendicular to the body. Stack your hips, bringing your right hip over the left this time. Both shoulders are on the ground. 
going deeper if you wish by looking into the light. We'll start to slowly unravel, making your way back to center. Once you're there, your body will let you know what it's craving in this moment. That might be stillness. You might want to bring your knees back towards your chest. You can even make little circles. Or you could do some windshield wipers by having your feet back on the ground and gently chopping the knees from side to side. So take the next minute to completely release the pose, doing whatever you're craving. And now we've reached the most important part of our yin yoga class, which is corpse pose. And this is where your body can really absorb all the benefits of the poses that you've practiced today. So we're going to take three minutes for corpse pose because this is a yin yoga class with props. You can, of course, use your props. So you can either put your bolster maybe underneath your chest or you can have 
the bolster underneath your knees and maybe your feet could be propped up on the yoga blocks. There's lots of options here. So whatever feels good for you, please feel free to do that. You can also have your bolster lengthways on the yoga mat so it's supporting your entire spine as you lie down. Really lots of options here with props. And then once you're settled, find your stillness. And feel your entire body getting heavier and heavier as if you're just slowly sinking into the earth. You can allow the awareness of your breath to go now and just let your body breathe as it naturally does. And if you find your focus drifting away, just try to bring it back to your body. Try your best to stay connected to all of these sensations that you're feeling. And as you travel around your body, if you notice any areas that are tense, you can just work on releasing that tension. If you're ready to come out of corpse pose, you can start to make some small movements. And there's no rush, but when you're ready, you can make your way back up into a seat. And we'll end this yin yoga class for the back and the spine here. So well done for making it to your mat and for doing this practice. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this routine valuable. If you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so we can practice some yin yoga classes together again in the future. So I'll see you soon. Until then, take good care of yourself and goodbye.